Hi, this is Mustafa. I would love to show you the things that I've learned in my journey with Cypress. So today we will start with Cypress initials and we will take a look at how we can log in and then and then afterwards we will take a look at some of the things and then I'll show you some little tricks and tips along the way I've learned and I would love to show you some things that will speed up your Cypress environment. So let's just jump right in. Here I would like to create my first folder which is going to be about like creating some test case where we can log in. So I'm going to use Visual Studio but you can use whatever you want. This is going to be empty file so I'll just open my projects and here I will create Cypress initials. So that will be my folder. I'll just open it from my Visual Studio code. And this is going to be empty folder. Then I will open my terminal. As you can see, we are on this folder right now. What I'm going to do, I will just npm in it. So here it will ask me what kind of you know package name you want to name this. So I'll just hit enter here bunch of enters so right now we have initialized our npm here we can just install cypress we're going to use the latest version so i'm just going to type cypress without any ads at the end after this i will open my cypress and then here we need to use npx so npx is something that you want to execute something that is like cypress or it can be anything like that so here since we have installed we can just say npx execute cypress and then we're going to say npx open cypress open so here we might see some errors sometimes so for this one it's because we don't have the right node version so right now i'm using 10 which is not correct so i would recommend using nvm or if you don't know how to use nvm just install the version 18. This might change, you know, based on the time you're watching this video. So make sure which one is the latest one or which Cypress version does use which version. So here we will just say npx Cypress open. So we, here we have end-to-end -end testing and component testing. First, we will take a look at end-to-end -end testing. And along the way, I will switch into component testing. I'll click here and it says, okay, I'm going to create some folders. Actually, it already created some folders for me, fixtures, etc. So I'll just hit continue. And then we can start our browser where we can run some end-to-end -end test cases or initialize some of them. I'll use Chrome. Okay, I will scaffold some examples right here to let Cypress create some of the test cases in my folder structure. I'll just do that. I'll just scaffold and then here we have a bunch of test cases it has actually created some folder right here if i go on end to end tests and we will see two folders here and you will see the same thing right here as well so that's about it in the next one we are going to create a login test and that is going to be our video see you in the next one